Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. My first stop is in southern Colorado, southwest Colorado. This is Purgatory. They picked up a few inches of new snow. Uh, Wolf Creek also. This is all part of this southern track storm system that is that moved out of Arizona, Utah, and now New Mexico, Colorado today, tonight, and eventually it will depart tomorrow. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning as far as latest data and trends dealing with that southern track storm. Then we look up to the Pacific Northwest and it spits out some uh, Vanguard snow, some very light pre-storm type of snow, appetizer snow for Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado on 1-5. So that will happen uh, tomorrow. And then behind that, that's our main storm cycle. And there's three storms associated with this between 1-6 and 1-13. So the first storm, the pattern changer comes in 1-6, 1-7. And then the second storm would come in the final storm around 1-11, 1-12, 1-13. 1 that final storm system, on or about 112, 113 brings in an Arctic blast. And wait until I show you what some of these air temps are going to be. In the Northeast, it's a coast to coast thing. So these, all three storms will come out of the West, hold together, and actually uh, they could re intensify up in the Northeast and become snowstorms, wind storms, uh, rain snow mix at times. So all three storms will benefit the Northeast in some fashion at the ski areas. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. There's our little southern track low right there. That's going to uh, stay, it's going to move very slow today and eventually move out tomorrow. Now, here's the big uh, storm system that changes the pattern. Right here, there's another area of low pressure behind it and potentially a third storm somewhere back in here. And all three are riding this powerful uh, jet. And um, as they come out of Alaska and Canada, they will buckle the northern branch of the polar jet and bring down colder air. So all three will rotate down um, out of the Pacific Northwest and into the interior states over the next, um, say, nine days between 1-6 and 1-13. So here's the forecast radar and satellite by this afternoon. You can see that southern track storm. Watch 1-5 in the morning. You can see this wave of Vanguard, fast-moving, light snow, Idaho, Utah, Montana, Wyoming, and eventually it slides down into Colorado through the end of 1-5, and then that's out of here. Here comes the main storm. Storm number one is right here. This is 1-6 coming out of the Pacific Northwest into 1-7. Drops down. Widespread snow, one, late 1-6 one into all of 1-7 for the Intermountain West. It's in the morning. Here's the afternoon. It continues. And by the time we get into 1-8, it's starting to pull out of Colorado and New Mexico. Here comes storm number two in the Pacific Northwest. It also drops into the Intermountain West. And there it is by late on 1-9. That's storm number two in the heart of it. Probably, you know, 1-9 into 1-10. And then we start to look for storm number three after that, which is also going to rotate in out of Alaska and Canada and out of the Pacific Northwest. So three storms in this storm cycle. All right, I've got a number of uh, graphics to show you here. Here's the jet on 1-7. This is all associated with storm number one, the pattern changer, deep trough, sliding through the Intermountain West in colder air. Here is a broad trough with storm number two. Um, late, uh, and it really just keep us, keeps the, uh, the door open for an additional storm system. That polar jet is, is fully buckled to the south, and you've got just cold air pouring in on 110. Storm number three, this is at the very late stages of storm three. You can see how that deep trough now has begun to swing east of uh, Colorado. But by this point, all that cold air is spilling south. It's all sitting over the Intermountain West. And let me show you what it could look like. The depth of this trough, that's at jet stream level. This is the same date, um, a little earlier in the day, but this is in the middle of the atmosphere um, at about 18,000 feet. The jet's at about 30,000. We're looking at about 18,000. Guys, this is a really deep trough. You see the magenta over um, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. That's about four to five standard deviations beyond, below the 30-year norm. Um, what that translates in, that's a very deep trough in the middle of the atmosphere, that translates into is this. Air temps, you can see the magenta colors, are going to run 30 to 40, maybe 50 degrees below norm. Um, we're going to see widespread temperatures if this holds below zero, 112, 113. All right, let's talk to totals here. And I, I split this up into a few different phases. So today through tomorrow. So you've got um, the Vanguard precip coming in tomorrow with some light snow accumulations, um, two to six inches through um, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, 
Colorado. Southern track low through southern Colorado, northern New Mexico also brings accumulation. Here's phase number two, one six through one eight. This is actually the first storm system of um, the big cycle from one six to one thirteen. You can see what it does. It really comes in, lays the groundwork, um, turns everybody a little bit colder, and we accumulate some snowfall, especially up in the Pacific Northwest and parts of Idaho. Here is a phase number um, three. This involves storm two and three. This runs one nine through one thirteen. You can see the accumulation potential. Uh, it's fairly big in a lot of areas. When you see the, the purple magenta color, that's a foot or more of accumulation. So again, all the snow doesn't come at once. It comes in three different phases. And let me show you the grand total map, which is what I've been showing the last few days in these updates. This is the grand total map. So this is 1.6 through 1.13, captures all three storm systems. My purple magenta is a foot or more, and there are a lot of places. Western and southwest Colorado, the Tetons, the Wasatch, uh, a lot of central and northern Idaho, northwest Montana, interior BC, the Pacific Northwest, Washington State, Oregon look big. Um, the latest trends to shift some of the snow out of the Sierra, but still looking at some accumulation there. All right, let's talk the northeast. So the northeast benefits from all three storm systems as well. 1617, we get moderate to heavy snow accumulation. On 19110, powerful storm system, 70 mile an hour winds, heavy snow at the onset on 19, probably changes over to a rain snow mix on 110, and then back to some snow on the backside. We get significant accumulation there. And then another storm for 112, 113 with moderate to heavy snow accumulation potential. And these are grand totals. That's what you're looking at here on this map. 1, 4 to 1, 13, potentially 1 to 2, maybe 3 feet up on Mount Washington there. But this should be a, uh, a very good uh, period here. For not only the west, I'll take you back to the grand total map, 1, 6, 3, 1, 6 to 1, 13, but also in the northeast. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this morning Mountain Weather Update, and have a great day.